Celebrities are everywhere. People claim to hate them, yet they keep purchasing their products. They come in all shapes and sizes and from all walks of life. No one really knows what makes a celebrity. No one really knows what makes a celebrity as no one really knows what counts as a celebrity. People just wake up one morning and are told, You're a celebrity! Perhaps because their album has sold 50 million copies. Or because their film poster is plastered over every bus stop. This has led one man to see if he can just make a celebrity. The press love them, but will they write about anybody? Even someone with a big fringe. I decided to make Callum famous because I was watching reality TV shows and seeing in magazines that people were famous for silly, stupid reasons. And I thought I'd make an experiment to see if, we could, if it's possible to do it ourselves and have a go at the celebrities. I decided to get a friend involved who had knowledge of making short films and documentaries. I knew there were some goals that we could aim for, such as trying to get in the local media and using the internet to try and get the name out to as many people as possible. Also, we're hoping to get some endorsements from genuine celebrities. With goals planned, the first thing any budding celebrity needs is a vast array of publicity photos. Photographer Sam was called in to do the honours. So, what do you think of their head celebrities? Yeah, they're great. <laughs> you don't think they're a little like everyone else? Oh, no. So you like that fat one of Big Brother and Stupid American in the caravan? Yes. Will I see all these photos right next time? Yes! With tools for stardom secured, the next thing the guys need to know is what makes a good celebrity. After we do the photo shoot, we're going to go out on the street and ask people questions. Three questions. It's going to be, who is your favourite celebrity? Ashton Kutcher because he's hot. be Dan Brown because he's very cool. Mike Calham, he's really great. Johnny Depp because he's <laughs> gorgeous. <laughs> Alkaline Trio, Esville Velo. I don't know, I don't really like celebrities. Why is that person your favourite celebrity? Guy, he's a good singer. Because he's kind of interested in linguistics, which I am as well. Everything. He's a great singer and everything, and he's just hot. He's in an awesome band. What is your opinion on the celebrity culture in general? Bollocks. People are not talented. They're most, most of them are stuck up and they shouldn't be famous. Overrated. Half of them are rubbish, half of them are lovely. Definitely overrated. A nonsense concept. Too many of them, and they should actually have talent. It's gone downhill majorly. Most of them are complete ass. Basically. As soon as Kellum shoots to stardom, his fringe will be the Beatles fringe for the 21st century. And at least half of him is lovely. Okay, so he doesn't have any talent, but what the hey, we just won't tell them. In the meantime, Kellum's <clears throat> popular website has been getting lots of hits and some <clears throat> genuine celebrities have sent their approval. Well, our Home Affairs correspondent, Simon Hall, joins us now from Exeter. Simon. I endorse making Kellum famous. Hi, I'm Steve Hammond. One of my claims to fame was I was in the centrefold of a magazine once, D May Design, a computer games company, and the cover as well, that's me there. For my part, I wrote Lemmings 3 Manual, I wrote the Nintendo Unirally manual. I wrote the story on this uh, tacky copy if I had guns here. And I heartily endorse making Kelvin famous. My name is Ben Wolvin, I'm a reporter at BBC Radio Devon, and I endorse this campaign to make Kelvin famous. Hello, my name's Ross Noble, and if this is being broadcast on the Al Jazeera network, please free me soon. Free me now. But publicity photos can only get you so much attention. With modern music technology, local musician producer Ollie has volunteered to help make a song that the MTV generation will just lap right up. Yeah, I think celebrities these days suck nuts, and I think Callum wouldn't. Stick
car A leaflet to all the trees If you don't make Callum famous We'll shoot you in the knees Callum's a big celebrity He's the one for you He'll go on some chat shows And make a joke or two And with that, people from all over the world have been trying to contact Kellum to register their fandom, including a Dutch man on a train, and this gentleman. Hello there, this is Gene Hendricks from New Jersey. When I heard about this project, I just had to plaster Kellum's name everywhere, even on my dog. Now whilst Gene attaches reformed tree bark to passing canines, the BBC have got wind of Kellum's cause and invited Stu and Martin along for a little chat. I was talking to a friend of mine <clears throat> and we were making a joke about um, how he's well known where, where I live in, in Paynton, in Torbay. And we were just joking about, I oh, should post this up kind of with your face, pointing your thumbs and all this kind of thing, saying, like, make me famous, my name is John, kind of thing. And we were just joking about it and I just thought it was actually, I mean, I thought it was quite a good idea. We decided on using Kellum, Alex Kellum, because he doesn't really want to be famous, but it was the idea. But he's willing to go along with this to see if it does work. So who is Alex Kellum? Kellum is a friend of ours. He's just the average Joe, average Joe guy, basically. He's he's um <clears throat> a very normal person. He plays a bit of bass guitar. He's he likes he likes his films. He likes to go out drink, uh, have a few drinks with his friends. He's a very normal guy, and he's very different to, say, the well-known celebrities. So how many people know Kellum at the moment, would you say? Oh, um, well, before, the, uh, um, before we started, he was, um, he's got, you know, he's got a fair amount of friends, more, no more, no less than anyone else. But since we've started, the, um, our website, insertcredit.net, has had um, several hundred hits from people around the world. Uh, I've given out lo lots of stickers around. Um, Paynes and Torquay and some in Exeter generally want people to help us out. We want this to happen, really. Mm. So, on one level, <coughs> you want to make a guy famous as part of your <coughs> your project, but on another level, is this a critique of the culture of celebrity in our society today? Is there some kind of message in this? Um, yeah. Look, so, my original idea is because I don't like the idea of the B list, C list celebrities. I don't like the way they portray themselves, constantly put themselves in a paper, always being like showing off kind of thing. I don't like the idea of that and I thought, well, if we can make someone a celebrity, we can make make a different go of it, start a different way of, uh, have a different kind of celebrity. Our documentary is very tongue-in-cheek. I mean, we're not making another um, pop star's The Idol where it's, um, I want to be famous! We've just got a guy and we're like, can you make can we make you famous? <laughs> Remember the name Alex Kellum, and when he is an international superstar, not D list or C list or even B list, but an A list celebrity, if you know it'll all have been done by two students from Exeter College.